quick video demonstration on how to install our LED fluorescent lights into a standard uh, fluorescent light fixture. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the fluorescent light tube. This is a uh, LED light tube. This resembles a fluorescent light, obviously. Uh, instead of being a glass tube, this is actually a uh, LED tube that has a frosted diffuser over it and an aluminum heat sink on the back here. Uh, it feels a lot more substantial than a standard fluorescent glass tube because of this heat sink and also because of the fact that it has a circuit board with LEDs inside of it. And to demonstrate, I actually have a little cutaway right here of what it looks like on the inside. And uh, depending on the model, uh, you'll have several hundred LEDs inside of this uh, fluorescent tube that will actually emit the light that you see. And they're attached to the circuit board. Here's something that probably looks familiar to most of you guys. This is a standard 48-inch uh, fluorescent fixture. And for those of you who don't know, take these bulbs out, just give them a little twist, and pop out just like so. Now I wish I could tell you the next step was to just take this guy and pop it in, but it's not. we got one more thing to do before we do that. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to have to access the ballots, all right? The power's off, there's no lights on, so we're not going to run the risk of electrocuting ourselves. We're just going to pop this panel off right here. So once the cover's off, we can find the ballast. This is a standard fluorescent ballast here. What we're going to do is move some of this stuff out the way and basically show you that the power from the wall comes into the ballast and then that actually feeds the fluorescent tubes. And the LED lights, uh, we're actually going to eliminate this ballast altogether, which is a good thing because this is a point of failure when it comes to uh, fluorescent lights. See the bulb where the ballast goes out and these are a lot more expensive to replace in the bulb. So uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, remove this and then we're going to show you how to wire the connections direct to the bulbs. Uh, we want to make sure the power's off because we don't want to uh, run the risk of uh, getting a shot here. Now that we got the ballast out of here, basically we're, set, we're left with a couple sets of wires. You've got your input wires, these are the uh, black and white wires that came from the wall and went into the ballast. Then we've got our output wires. These are the ones that actually came from the ballast and went to the contacts here on either side of the bulb. What we're going to do, since we remove the ballast, is we're basically going to attach these wires together. We're going to take one side, make up the load side, and uh, basically connect these together, and then do the opposite on the other side. Alright, so with the ballast removed, we got the bulb plugged back in here, just to show you guys exactly how this is going to work. Again, here's you got one wire that's going on the one side of the tube, the other wire obviously going on the other side of the tube. We're going to take these two, we're just going to put it just straight to power momentarily, just to test everything out, and there we go. We got contact. As you can see on this side, we've got two connectors, so we have two wires here. Uh, so we're going to be uh, attaching both these wires to one of our leads coming out the wall. On this other side, we only have one wire going into here, but if you look closely, there's actually a, a jumper inside here that goes from this side to that side. So that's covered for us. We only need one input on this side. Here's our input wire. Here's a set of our output wires. What we're going to do is tie these guys together. Right now, we don't have to worry about any kind of polarity. Uh, we're going to get to that in just a minute. But all we're doing is we're just going to go ahead and connect these guys together and on the opposite side we've got our other input wire and other output wire we're going to do the same thing on this side all right the reassembly is basically just going to be the opposite of the disassembly so we're going to go ahead and line these guys up and then we're going to go ahead and reinstall our cover this cover now locked in place, we can go ahead and install these bulbs. And just like the fluorescent tubes we took out, these are just going to go back in place just like that.